I think so. A great question. When I was a little kid, um, there was these magazines that had at the back of a magazine it would have uh, eight tracks, cassettes, and records of, and it would be like it was a scam ad. It would be like, pay ten cents and you get, um, you know, a subscription to twenty-five eight tracks and cassettes and records for ten cents a month. Or it was a scam, right? But all of these songs and, and graphics were listed on the back of these magazines. And I remember as a kid, I was maybe seven years old and playing with girls. The girls would be playing at the Barbies. I'd be with other boys and they'd play with stuff. And I would be like wanting to be the, the on-air radio personality, DJ. Back then, DJs were radio personalities, not necessarily. I didn't know what a nightclub DJ was but I knew what DJs were on the radio. They would, and back then those DJs, back then would introduce songs on the radio because they liked them. <laughs> In the, they're themselves, just not like because they need, they, it's not a corporate thing, it's just, I like this new record, now I'm playing it, I'm gonna introduce you to it, and they would talk about it and then they would play it. So I would do that when I was six, seven years old. I would act like a DJ when all the other kids were playing with G.I. Joes and Barbies, I was going, well, I'm the DJ for, for the G.I. Joe bar, Barbie party. And that was happening with all, and I'd be like, oh, okay, so now we're gonna play Heat Wave Groove Line, and we're gonna play Chic Le Freak, and I'm, but I'm reading it off of the, that magazine that was a scam. So, I felt the power of, that, of introducing music to people at six years old. Yeah. That's what makes a DJ. What makes a DJ is the, the passion and the power that you want to give out of yourself to introduce to other people. That's the premise of a DJ. It's giving energy. So you have something that you know, but I want, I can't wait to share with you. That's DJ Energy 101.